do what you want to do and I promise you, you are going to grow. Do what you want to do. As long as you're putting out solid content and you're doing what you want to do with your career and your life that you have control over, it will not be a problem at all. I'm trying to tell you. But I just feel like the industry and social media, they destroy these types of artists who are hungry who are hungry for this 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 type of lifestyle because you got new people coming in that are looking at people that are flexing and people who are signing deals and people who are doing the absolute wrong things when it comes to being in the industry and i feel like it's destroying lower artists like you got people that are you have people that are are, are obsessing over numbers that's that's the most biggest bro that's the most biggest thing to me when it comes to music is the numbers and i'm gonna I'm speak on that right now so when it comes down to numbers and how many views you have it it it, it, it does not matter how many views you have how many plays you have like let's take these academics for example these academics is the man person who likes to tweet and tell everybody how many albums were sold during that first week compared to anybody else i feel like that kind of destroys the artists who are who, who are putting out albums and who are trying because you got him saying oh trippy red didn't even make forty thousand sales uh the first week and you're sitting there you released the album oh i only made I only made 5,000 sales, man. I should be harder than that. It's not even that. That's not even the case. The case is whatever you sold your album for, you could have sold it for usually how much? Like $9. You had 5,000 people buy your album in a week. That's what you need to look at. You need to look at the cup as half full, not half empty. You got people like DJ Academics. You got people like uh, The Shade Room. All these, All these social media outlets talking about how many albums were sold this week and they have an obsession over numbers which making the people who are actually trying and actually coming up making them feel bad and making them feel some type of way because their numbers aren't over 40,000 and their their numbers aren't doing 200,000 the first week and it couldn't even it don't, it don't even have to be an up and coming artist it could be an artist that's already out as long as your album is selling, I don't see what the problem is, to be honest with you. I don't see what the problem is. Let's say you, let's say you, whoever watching this video, you and who's a hard artist? Drake puts out an album the same, the same week, same day. Week goes by. Results come in. Drake sold a hundred thousand. 100,000 copies as, a, as, as, as compared to you. You only sold 15,000 copies. Then that's when the uh, social media is so, dang, I'm missing, mixing, mixing it up. <laughs> that's when the social media outlets start to pour in. Trey sold, oh, 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 100,000. Um, this rapper only sold about 15K the first week. Is it low? Bro. You just had 15,000 people buy your album. It doesn't matter if it's, bro, bro. If I'm an artist that, that just came out or just, you know what I'm saying, that just got here and not as long as I got good numbers, 15,000 people that bought a, a bought a, an album, bought your album, that's a lot of people, bro. That's what you don't, that's what people don't understand. They're getting fooled by these numbers and they, 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 they mixing people's heads up into falling into their little game. As long as you, bro, as long as you're doing what you gotta do and you making sales, the, 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 the simple fact that you even making a sale, that should hype you up right there. You may not be doing as good as Drake, but you're selling just like he is. Your, your album is selling just like he is. I don't want everybody to be, bro, this is like the big, this is like the biggest subject to me cuz everybody is so false flagged when it comes to how their album is doing or how many views they pull like 
I can understand if you're expecting your stuff to go, oh, I was expecting it to go 50K, 100K at least. That ain't no that ain't nothing but motivation for you to even go even harder. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you only did, if you were projected to do 50K and you only did about 15, you should still be happy at the fact that you made a sale. But at the same time, if you realize that, it should be making you want to go even harder to get 50K. And if and if you're going even harder thinking about that 50K, you might even do 200, 100. What I'm saying is, the message for today is, just don't be blinded by the numbers, man. For real. Because it, it's not going to get you anywhere getting caught up in social media's little game. That's all I'm saying.